morning and welcome back to the Cairngorms National Park for vlog number two of this kind of mini series. That mini series being autumn by the way. <laughs> so I'm in the currently on the Loch Morlock Trail as you can see there and I haven't even been doing it for like 10 minutes and I've already came across if you can see them that tree there. Now the camera itself is all overexposing that so you can't really see what I'm talking about. All the fern and all these kind of yellow really soft yellow leaves up there are going halfway up that tree and because that tree's all dead looking and spiky it's that beautiful contrast between that bright white sky the spiky dark grey tree and all this yellow kind of foliage run about it it's such a beautiful contrast and i just fell in love with it so for this picture i was shooting it with a 24 70 lens at 70 mil iso 200 and f 6.3 and that's because I wanted to retain some of that softness in the image as well. I mean, for the start, for the, the fact that I've just started this walk, that's a pretty solid find for the first 10 minutes. I'm really chuffed and I haven't even really got to where all the actual proper yellow trees are yet. All the sort of proper autumnal trees are kind of over that way, which is the other end of the loch. And then we sort of follow it all the way back around and end up back at the van. It's a circular route. It should take us about two hours, I think, to do it. We might go for a drive afterwards. I, I just parked up and I had some pancakes. I made some pancakes this morning for my breakfast and I was just about to leave and go for my walk when another Mazda Bongo came in and us Bongo knots stick together. So I sort of waved them in because there's a space right next to me and they were all happy and waving at us and stuff. So <laughs> definitely loving the Bongo life. It's definitely quite a cool community to be part of. But I'm going to continue on this trail just now and see what else we can find. So I'm currently being illuminated by this gorgeous sunshine just breaking through these trees. But also, on my travels, I found that, which looks kind of cool. It's basically a, an old tree trunk that's also just been left and left on the ground as it's fell off these trees. And it looks awesome. I think if you were walking through here at night time and you came across that on this path, you'd probably poop your pants to be honest, because it's huge. It's much bigger than it looks, I'll show you. So there's a base that goes all the way up to there. And it looks stunning. And it's not something I would classically shoot. It's a very obvious subject, but back, like the sun's kind of breaking through the trees just now. And the only reason I shot it is because the sun's breaking through and highlighting all the sort of the texture and, and the, the, the trunk. And it just looks amazing. Plus you've got all these trees behind it. So it kind of helps it stand out even more. Yeah, for the settings for the shot, I was shooting at F 4.5 to sort of separate it a little bit more from the trees behind. And ISO 400. No, 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 ISO 200 and a uh, one two fifth of a second and it just looks cool it's not a conventional landscape photography shot i don't think for me but it looks cool so i took it so i'm a bit almost halfway down the trail now yeah it's a bit like sucky hall street here it's incredibly busy i've just tried to i mean i'm wearing trail shoes just now and i've just tried to navigate my way through a massive probably shin deep puddle. I tried to go around the edges and they were all boggy so my feet are soaking. <laughs> we're just about to head into sort of sparser woodland where there's more birch trees so I'm quite excited to see what we can get up here. Plus the sun's out as you can see so that should be good. I just done a whole bit to camera and it was in slow-mo so that would have been very exciting for you so i've been on the hunt for my very last picture and i think i found it it is doo -doo -doo, up there just i think you could just see it there that one lone tree all by itself surrounded by all this absolutely amazing dark pine trees it just looks so surreal so eerie absolutely brilliant 
So as you can see just now, or maybe you can't, it's starting to rain just now, which is actually not a bad thing. It adds a little bit of atmosphere, I feel, to photographs, especially when you're shooting in woodland. But yeah, this big lone tree up here is my last photograph for today. Um, I was shooting at ISO 400, um, 1 to 5th of a second and F8 to get the shot because I wanted to maintain those dark sort of dominant trees just behind it there. I wanted to maintain that darkness and keep it looking spooky and uh, keep it looking quite abstract as well. But I think, to be honest, these sorts of photos are now seem to be quite trendy but I suppose if you, as long as you put your own slant on it that's all that really matters isn't it so I think I'm going to wrap up today's vlog here um, I know it's been another bit of a short one I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless in our little sort of our little stroll around the Cairngorms National Park I'm going to take the long way home today so it's going to take me about another two hours on top of my usual traveling time to get home and I'm going to go home through Glencoe I think just take the van through Glencoe just to sort of christen it in a sense once again thank you very much for watching and if you like this video then like and subscribe and I'll post all my photographs at the end as per usual and until next time I'll see you soon bye